Cities depend on the safe movement and delivery of goods using heavy goods vehicles. However, these HGVs are disproportionately responsible for fatal collisions with cyclists and pedestrians. Blind spots on the passenger side and the front of the vehicle are a major contributory factor in collisions involving trucks and vulnerable road users, especially cyclists and pedestrians. It's a lot different than it was when I first started driving. Far more cyclists and motorbikes on the road. It's kind of chaotic, really. Improvements have already been made to address vehicle blind spots through the use of sensors, mirrors, rear vision cameras and other safety equipment. However, this equipment only improves indirect vision and can take longer to check than by simply looking through a window. You don't have as much visibility with just mirrors as you do with eye contact and there's always someone in one of your blind spots. By the time the driver has finished checking all of them, the situation on the road around the vehicle may have changed. Images can be distorted, and the sheer number of these features can distract the driver. I find that if by the time you've gone through all your checks again, you're more or less straight on doing it again. When you stop at a junction, it is mirrors, 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 mirrors cameras, sensor goes off, mirrors, 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 camera. You're always looking. TfL has been working with leading truck manufacturers to improve truck design by reducing blind spots and increasing direct vision. This reduces the risk to vulnerable road users. Lower cab height with lower entry, underrun protection, lower and larger windscreens and windows, a reconfiguration of dashboard and glass in the passenger door all give the driver vastly improved visibility of the dangerous blind spots directly in front of the truck and on the passenger side. To see if the increased direct vision design actually benefits both drivers and vulnerable road users, we have set up a comparison test between a traditional and a direct vision HGV, featuring a cyclist and a pedestrian in HGV blind spots. We placed cameras inside and outside the truck, and on the driver and vulnerable road users. This allows you to see the situation from their point of view. What you are about to see is not edited to enhance the desired effect, but shows exactly whether and how the new design works. The passenger side blind spot is a notoriously difficult place for the HGV driver to see cyclists arriving at intersections. We have recreated this situation like for like with both off-road and direct vision HGVs. When arriving at the intersection, the cyclist often has to pass close to the truck in the passenger side blind spot. Let's see the situation from the perspective of the cyclist. Now let's see what the driver sees at the same time. What does our cyclist think about the difference? It really gave me a confidence because uh, I could see it, he saw me. So I feel more safe. With the direct vision, you can see exactly what is up against your cab. You can make eye contact with everybody. For vulnerable people, it is a better vehicle. The space directly in front of the HGV can be a dangerous place for pedestrians crossing at intersections due to the truck's cab height. When HGVs stop at the zebra crossing, the pedestrian often has to pass directly in front of the truck in its blind spot. Let's see the scenario from the pedestrian's point of view. Now let's see what the driver sees in the same situation. Now let's hear from the pedestrian. I actually could see the driver straight away, which kind of gave me a clue that it was okay to cross over and that he knew where I was. Choosing an HGV with increased levels of direct vision will help avoid collisions and save lives. These type of trucks are already available and are being configured for a variety of uses, including general haulage, tippers and other construction vehicles. 
Our number one priority is the safety of Londoners, and we want you to work with us to make sure the HGVs you use are as safe as they can be. Visit our website for more information.